I'm going to show you how to define transfer date and additional parameters for assets in SAP s -Funnel. My name is Nuno Dias, and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance and I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Here, in this channel, we are doing a full life cycle implementation based in finance and controlling. So please subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. Currently, I'm building a document that will become a PDF called How to Navigate in SAP at a Glance YouTube channel. If you are interested to receive this PDF once it's ready, please get in touch with my LinkedIn, connect with my LinkedIn, and leave me the message, I want the SAP at a glance PDF. And of course, your email address. In this video, we are going to see how to define the settings for company codes and ledgers that are relevant for asset accounting. We are almost reaching to the end of our configuration for asset accounting. And now, without any further ado, Let's start and let's go to the system. Transaction code ORFA. So basically, we need to go to Asset Accounting, Asset Data Transfer, and then we are going to choose the option Define Transfer Data and Additional Parameters. So here, here on the left, are the company codes in the system. So basically, this is a testing system. That's why we have only three com company codes that are relevant for assets, basically that we have made the configuration for assets. These are the ledgers of the company codes. And then what we need to do is pretty simple. So we are going to make here, uh, <clears throat> we click here to create. Okay. So here in the data transfer, I'm going to put the, um, the go live date could be this one. So it means that I'm going to do all my tests before. So I'm going to choose ongoing, uh, um, ongoing, and other tests, other postings allowed, and then is a net posting. So in the comments, I'm going to choose that uh, AA feeds assets that uh, transfer. So if you are enjoying this video as me doing for you, please make a like to us. <coughs> Enter. Things are there. Here the, the, the fiscal year is open. There is no need to have a look. Then in the here we we keep this uh, testing. It's not yet productive. And then we can save. Okay, settings are saved. So now we can start doing the, 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 the legacy tests and charging the system with the, the legacy um, assets. Now you know how to define transfer data and additional parameters for assets in SAP s yes, Many thanks for watching this video as part of the full lifecycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please don't forget, subscribe this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.